Hello everybody, this is John in Lawrenceville, and I want to show you what having a blind spot mirror that's four inches large, instead of that one or two inch one they sell at the normal, you know, like AutoZone or whatever, I got this four inch uh, large blind spot mirror that usually goes on semi trucks, and I was at uh, uh, Napa, and I hardly ever like going there to buy parts because they're so expensive, but they usually have the part I need, but the Napa I go to in town, they have a great uh, floor space with all kinds of tools, you know, different prices. Always love checking them out and buying something once in a while. But I found out by mere accident when I went down a certain aisle, they had another portion of the store I'd never been to before. And this is mainly truck driver stuff. Well lit up. It's beautiful. And I found these four-inch blind spot mirrors. I'm like, you know, I bet that'll get rid of my blind spot altogether in my car. I'm going to give it a try. It was only like three and a half, four dollars. I can always peel it off if it doesn't work, you know, the way I want. So I'm going to show you the blind spot mirror right now. I'm parked next to this black car. Now, look at this black car. I'm trying to show everything in my window. When I look at it, I can see the uh, mirror there just by turning my head, and that's about it. So, let's see. That's what, what you see right now is the limit of what I see when I turn my head to look in that direction without sticking my head out the window. So when you're driving, you do a quick look like that, and you also check your side mirror, but you don't really, you know, see it all. Now, I'm gonna show you what I see here in a moment, just a second. Um, and you start the car back up. Oh, okay, I know it's wrong, okay. <laughs> um, if I want, I could push this side mirror like this, so I can see a little bit of my car, like we were trained to, when when we were trained to drive a car. Like right now, I cannot see it. But if I turn my head a little bit, I can see the side of my car. You know, I just move my head sideways just a little bit that way. I can see the edge of my car. That way you can see the most amount of the road of the uh, vehicle traffic going in the opposite direction. Now, hold on. Get my mirror like this. I don't like the mirror like this. Just, just personal preference. Nothing wrong with it. But I want you to see the... Uh, that mirror right there, that's all I can see. I cannot see my blind spot where the, the the back door is back there. I cannot see anything there. And my side mirror should be able to show me that. But look look at that. You know, how am I going to see anything much? Well, you know, I mean, I want to be able to see a lot. I mean, there's a whole lot in this mirror here showing me everything. So I'm going to put my finger right below. Right about there is that mirror as far as I can see. And the rest of the car is the front of the car that goes past my uh, rear my rear door on the driver's side. The seat behind me, the door there, that's my blind spot. And that car, I can see all of it in my blind spot. And what's in front of that car, all that road there, if there's vehicles in front of it, I can see it too. So everything coming by, going that way, I can see it plain as day. Now, if there was a vehicle coming up from behind me, Right back there is about where he that person would be at, you know, if they got in the other lane and they were basically behind me. Then when they pull up into my blind spot right about there, I can see them plain as day. Because look, there's the uh, the mirror there for this car. I see the front tire. I can see everything. So if I look this way, if the front of the vehicle is right here, I'd barely see it. But I'd see the front of the vehicle and the rest of it all together. That's why I love this four-inch mirror. It's great. Now, um, of course, I can't see the rest of the car in this mirror, but I don't need to because I don't just look in this mirror. I look out this window here real quick, then I look in the mirror. Because, and the reason why I do it that way, I don't look in the mirror first and then look here because if I look in the mirror first and there's no vehicle and I don't look this way, there might be a vehicle right here that I didn't, didn't even notice because I'm not paying attention. I'm looking, I'm focusing on this mirror. So I take a quick look here, there's no vehicle. I take a quick look here, and there's no vehicle. You know, you know if I'm going to uh, get in that lane to pass someone. So it's really great, you know. Now if I uh, look here, and there's no vehicle, and let's say there's one back here, and he's coming up, and he's in my blind spot, and he's going to be right here in a moment, I would see him in this mirror. Or her, whichever you want to call it. <laughs> now, um... The reason why I don't like the mirror like this, you know, it's personal preference, because almost half of this four inch mirror is taken up by my car. I don't need to see that. So what I did, and 
you know, normally, normal driving, you'd want to be able to see some, hold on, darn it, handle this camera. When you stick your head just a little bit to the left and see the side of your car, that would be normal driving, you know, in the past, the way they showed it to us, you know, in training. But, um, you know, I don't see much of my blind spot in this mirror. You actually gotta look way over there and everything. You don't get to see all this detail I see in this big mirror. So, if I push this here so that I can see just a little bit of the side of my car, then I get a lot more information here than the rest of it, you know? <laughs> see here we go um okay so i'm driving along i want hold on so i'm driving along and i want to turn left so i look this way there's nothing there well the car there now i'm saying there's nothing there and then i look in the side mirror i can see all this area i can see it all now the one thing i don't do is look for vehicles you know see if there's you know someone way back there coming because this mirror does not really show well for distance. It shows for, you know, what's out here next to me. So I got to use this rear view mirror to see if there's anything back here. If there's a vehicle back here, one or two car lengths back, the side mirror doesn't show it well, if at all. So, so if I look in the rear view mirror, there's nothing there. So I look here, nothing. And then I look in here, nothing. I can do a proper turn in the lane. Not worry about running someone off the road or damaging my vehicle, killing someone, you know, all the bad stuff. So, uh, I'm no professional. I just have my own opinions and I'm just letting you know, you know what I like about, you know, this four inch mirror. I've never thought about the four inch mirror that was in the semi truck when I was driving semi. I never thought about getting one, putting it in my car before. I just never thought about it. I wish I had because I love the idea of being safer. To me, it feels like it's safer. I could be wrong, but I believe you get a lot more information and less worries. Because when you look in that mirror, you're not really you're not really supposed to look and see how far back vehicles are way back there. You're supposed to see if there's anything next to your car that's going to be in the way when you try to do a proper turn, you know, to get in the lane to pass. Or if you want to do a left-hand turn. You want to see if there's anything right here. So if I was going to slow down, you know, in the middle of a, the, the lane, in the turning lanes and stop. I look in my rear view mirror to see if there's anybody behind me. You know, then I look to the left, there's nothing there. I look at my side mirror, make sure no one's coming up. And then I turn left, not worry. And, you know, if I'm driving down the road and it's kind of slow or whatever, and I'm afraid that people don't know there's a slow vehicle in front of me, they might want to pass. And I want to make sure that they're not going to have a head on collision with opposing traffic. So, you know, I can look at my rear view mirror, I can look at my side mirror. See if there's anyone trying to pass me. Because I can see, you know, from the back of my vehicle all the way to the front whether or not someone's trying to pass me by looking in that four inch uh, blind spot mirror. I'm going to call it a cheater mirror so badly that my mind says, no, blind spot. That's what you want to say, blind spot mirror. So, you know, uh, I'm not responsible if you try to do this and you can't do it right or, you know, you get in some kind of trouble because you have certain rules in your area. I'm just letting you know that. I put this four inch mirror on here. I've had a two inch one or one inch, whatever size that little small sucker is. I had that on there. I popped it off and the sticker thing was still there. So I just dug at the corner of the tape, see if I could peel any of it off. And I just barely pulled it up at a t you know, all over it at a time and just came off. I was gonna get my razor knife out. I have one of those and I was gonna, you know, use the razor to you know make it come off. But I didn't need to, just a little time picking at it to get that sticker off. I cleaned off the mirror with some uh alcohol that I had in the bathroom with a, with a toilet paper make sure it's nice and clean stuck that thing on there where I thought it might be a good spot oh yeah um I do not recommend sticking this mirror way over like I did I recommend going over a little bit more closer to the center so that way this mirror does not have any problems adjusting going left or right so when I uh, use the mechanical me electric mechanical means to move that mirror um, yeah, it does not like going that way. So just, you know, a bit of advice, make it closer to the center of the mirror. The right side of that four inch mirror is actually past the halfway mark on the, on the side mirror. So go a little bit farther than that. I would recommend, I would do it, but I don't have another sticker thing for this thing. And I don't want to pay another four bucks for it. This is fine the way it is. I just wish I would have been a little bit closer, you know, away from that edge. So it's John Lawrenceville. I hope you liked the video. I hope that you know you're like, well, I could try that. I like it. Hey, great. 
Glad I watched that that ten minute video. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm signing out. Uh, please subscribe and give me a like or a dislike and hit that notification bell thing and do whatever you can to help me make money off YouTube. <laughs> I haven't done that in a long time though. Man, after the first year, I don't really get anything. But I didn't really make any videos either. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.